Throughout the one month of uh, working with Ruby, you could have encountered some um, quirks or some uh, things that threw you off or some interesting nuggets of wisdom uh, while you're working with Ruby. So I hope that you note them down and you know within five minutes be able to share with the crowd what they have learned. Uh, they can be totally random, which is why this is good. They, they don't have to you know relate to one another. So I hope you find this really useful. So without further ado, let Inchen take the stage. Yes. Hey guys, um, my name is Ying Chen. Uh, some of you know me as Ying, some of you know me as YQ, but um, these are my details. It's everything at Ying Chen Tio, so github.com slash Ying Chen Tio, and so on. I, uh, I, I work at a company called Referral Candy, and um, if you're interested to find out more, you can come talk to me later. So I think everyone's kind of itching to look at some code. Uh, so, five Ruby tips. Let's uh, start off with 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 ten power. I think you crap that kick the power. Yeah. Technical difficulty. Uh, oh, it's loose. Loose. Yeah. <laughs> okay, who did it? What the hell? <laughs> yeah, Winston just stayed there yeah. for the ten okay. minutes. <laughs> Uh, it's still blinking out. Why? What is it? What, what was it? Pull it up. Pull okay, it up. okay, okay. Okay, right. I'm not gonna stay here. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna sit down because because I need to type. But um, I'm just gonna be sharing with you some some of the stuff that 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 we have been seeing in our day to day work. And and let's start off with the first one. Uh, temp file. I'm not sure how many of you have seen this, but this is temp file. Is it is is part of the Ruby standard library. And uh, it's very useful when uh, you want to create files that are temporary, of course. And, and this is useful when you want to, say, send, send out emails and you want to uh, at attach files which you don't care where you save those files and you want them to get deleted later. So that's one use case. The other use case could be, say, you are, you are writing random scripts and, and you, you don't, again, you don't really, you, you want to, say, pipe them into, into Unix tools and then, and then uh, create some output without actually wanting to store those files. So this is where it's really useful. So let me show you a quick demo. Um, it's really simple. Temp file, you can just say uh, file equals to temp file dot new, and then you can call this like foo or something. And you can see actually the path, it, it, it creates a temporary file in, in this particular file, uh, path. And it's very simple, you can write any kind of text, so say hello world. And if you then read it, see it prints out hello world. Can everyone see what? See yeah, it? Yeah, it's cool. yeah, and then and then when you when you uh, you know quit the session or like when the when the object is garbage collected, the, the file is actually uh, removed. So that's that's pretty cool. Is it removed by the OS or how, how does it work? Because yeah. I know in let's say Unix it would go to the slash temp, but here yes. it's the yes. Direction. Yes. So I I I am not sure exactly, but I, I I believe it's it's handled in the Ruby VM. So I'm, if uh I, I this is just a guess. I don't know the underlying implementation, but okay. I would I would guess that that's how it's handled. Uh, so like when you're when you know your, your files are just when your objects are garbage collected in, in the Ruby virtual virtual mm -hmm. environment, they are automatically removed. Okay, so that's that's number one. Number two is uh, active support, some some core extensions. So again, not sure how many how many of you have seen this before, but uh, active support actually comes with a lot of really cool uh, methods which which override the standard library. So hash is one of those things which they override. And so for example, there there, there are four things which which come to mind. There's uh, accept, uh, which which basically gives you all key and value, which allows you to specify certain keys to, to, to keep for a particular hash. And, and, and it will make a lot more sense with examples later on. Slice is the opposite, is to, uh, sorry, except is to, is to, is to uh, remove. yeah, remove. And slice is the, is the key. And stringify keys is to convert all your, all your keys in your hash with your symbols to, to, to strings, and symbolize keys is the, the reverse. 
And so let me show you some examples. Uh, if say I have a hash and I have um, say, so I have a hash like that, and if I say accept all except uh, A and C, I'll get. Oops, I need to call it. Let's try it again. Then it'll give me B. And if I say slice, say slice A and B, I'll get. Uh, sorry. It's B is a string. Yeah, that's right. Yep, I'll okay. get. Can you scroll up the terminal so it's not at the bottom so we're not looking at people's heads? That is a good idea. Oh, you slice it to just three quarters. Yeah, okay, that's good. That's great. Oops. Okay. So that's slice, and if I say, so I have H again, if I say uh, string five keys, it's very straightforward, it will make all my keys strings, and the opposite, uh, symbolize keys, make all them symbols. So that's pretty, pretty cool. Um, so yeah, this is part of active support, and, and actually if you look at the source code here, you can see some other cool stuff, like, uh, there's this uh, hash with in, in different access, which, which basically allows you to create hashes that, that, that you can access elements of based on, you know, it doesn't, doesn't matter whether you pass it symbols or, or, or strings as, as, as the uh, value, as, as the ex ex access value. Okay, that's, that's uh, tip number three. String inquiry. Actually, I, I, this is something I really like. Um, it's a little bit of a... It's, it's entirely syntactic sugar. So one of the things we had to do recently was, um, was uh, one of the things we did recently was to incorporate this into 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 kind of like uh, creating some sugar for for querying like the state of our system. So like, um, let me show you an example. Can you make it bigger? Oh, okay. Okay. Mm. Okay. Let me show you an example actually. Actually, this is pretty self-explanatory. So, um, the string inquiry is part of active support, and and what they, they, they what it does is is it allows you to to uh, pretty pretty much query whether whether an object is whether a string ob object is that particular string. So, for example, in this case, um, feeling is set to happy, right? So the string um, the string emotion is set to happy, and if I, is it bored, it will be false, is it happy, uh, that will be true. So Rails actually uses this in their, in their rails.env uh, Rails method in order to pro provide you some sugar for, instead of, instead of you having to say, oh, Rails underscore env, env of Rails underscore env equals equals production, or Rails, rails of and uh, and of rails underscore m equals equals development. So this is just a little bit of sugar to make it easier. Um, and if you look at the, the source code, actually, uh, there's all this method mi missing magic that happens. Uh, you you may think it's it's is excessive, maybe like you, if you if you if you uh, have to incur that performance penalty. But you know, rails a lot of it is about optimizing for developer happiness, so saving those uh, couple of characters makes uh, developers really happy, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> so this is string var. Number four, IRB. IRB, I'm sure you guys are, no, just kidding. So there's more, more to it. Um, IRB, uh, this, this has actually changed my life, by the way. So I've learned, uh, let me just like, I've learned um, some of these shortcuts. Uh, so let's say, you know, previously I was I. Sorry. Shit. Let's say. Uh, oops. Let me. It's, maybe it's not set up properly. Aha. Uh, uh -huh. Okay. Sorry. A little hiccup. Uh, let me just type in an example real quick. Uh, so it's a one plus one, whatever. Okay, so 
I'm not sure how many of you guys know this, but you can actually use a lot of the um, shortcuts you use to navigate your, 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 your terminal prompt in RB as well. So you can do reverse search if you, if you did control R. And so I can type H and it will show up in my history instead of needing to press up, up. So that, that has changed my life. Um, one thing, so other things include going to the front of the line, control A. Going to the back, front, back, front, back. No, control A and control E. Uh, other things include, say, uh, tab for auto completion. So I can do something like active and then I press tab. It will auto complete. Uh, and, and underscore is another cool thing. It, it just returns you the last, uh, the value of the last command you type in IRB. So in this case, it will return active support. Yeah, so these are some IRB tips, pretty cool. And then the last one is um, some design patterns. Uh, these, these are all part of the Ruby st standard library, by the way, so that's really cool. There's no additional gems that you need to install. Uh, Singleton is one, and we can actually go ahead and try this. So, uh, so with with this singleton uh, object, I knew is is overwritten to throw an exception, so you you aren't able to instantiate new, uh, and you can do like the instance, uh, and this has an object ID of you know, with every new instance is going to be the same object. It is the same, same global thingy instance. So that's, that's really cool, the singleton design pattern. Uh, and then the last one I have is forwardable. Forwardable is pretty cool. So basically, if, if, if I have a class at, which I want to delegate to, I can, I can in this case, uh, I want to delegate, boss wants to delegate to secretary. Right, so I don't know how much you, can, you guys can see. Um, so you can you, all you all you have to do is extend forwardable, and then delegate to an object with the with the method. So in this case, if I if I pasted this in, um, oops. Kind of defeated the purpose of that. Okay, and then so I've if I call a uh, boss dot new and I assign and I instantiate um, a secretary, I can now call a generate report, which is a method on on a secretary, and then it will just print stuff. So that's. That's pretty cool. Okay, and that's it. Five random tips, kind of all over the place. Uh, you gave more than five. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. <laughs> five groups of tips. Yeah, five, five, five concepts. <laughs> Any questions for Jen? No? Okay, I'm not a qualified well, so Does anyone have any like questions, more tips to share? Any anyone knows more design patterns? Uh, delegators. Delegator. Mm -hmm. Simple de delegator. Yeah. Mm. Have you looked at Prime instead of IRB? <laughs> yeah, like uh, haven't really played around with it much, but Prime. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, worth checking out. Especially when you replace it, especially when you use it to debug. Yeah. Code. Yeah. Uh, you can put like binding up prime in your Rails code, and then once it hits that, you can step into the code, etc. Yeah. Really good. Any other questions? All right. Oh, thank Thanks, you. guys. All right.